Norse Mythology, Part 4. So I've covered most of Fenrir's events up until this point. I won't go into any further detail about his future because we'll cover it as we get deeper into Norse mythology. But I do realize that I didn't mention several details about his backstory and what led to the events that led to his imprisonment. So we're going to go into those real quick. So Fenrir was the son of Loki and the giantess Angarboda. So Fenrir had two siblings from the same parents, Jormungandr or the World Serpent and Hel or Hela, goddess of the underworld. Now, these three originally grew up in Jotunheim until the Aesir gods, or the Asgardian gods, sensed a great danger that would come from these three. So because of this overwhelming sense of fear, Odin ordered the gods to retrieve the three children. He took Jormungandr and threw him in the ocean on Midgard, or Earth. He took Hel and he banished her to Nilfheim, or the Underworld. And it was here that we know Odin brought Fenrir to Asgard so that he and the other gods could watch him. And two of Fenrir's children, known as Skull and Hati, would play a big role in future events. 